Hi, Sean. Are you seeing robots? Because I'm not. I'm seeing a Mandalorian. <laughs> um, um, what this is really cool. Can it is. Man. It actually really is. Uh, I'm it's seeing... somewhat. It's somewhat new cool. New, like new school and somewhat old school. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it's uh, right. from Twin Elephant Brewing. They are in um, Jersey. New Jersey. Yeah, Chatham, New Jersey. This comes courtesy of Keith uh, from 93 Lumber. His channel just started. His first video was an unboxing from us. Us. It's not going to get him. It's not going to get him. It's not going to get him any subscribers. So. <laughs> um, uh, but he is a hell of a guy. Oh yeah, he's he's straight he's, he's he's straight, straight up, up awesome. Keith Keith rules. Um, I don't know why I go I googled it. It's uh, actually on the side of the can. But the hop profile in this is pretty damn interesting. Galaxy, Saz, Sabro, and Hull Melon with Hull Melon, Hull Hull Melon. Sure, I don't fucking Vermont know. yeast, and then for um, and then for malt, Pilsner Pale, Crystal Oats, Munich, and Dextrin. Um, I, I love breweries that put the entire the malt bill, the hop bill, and the yeast on the can. It's like I don't know. It, it just seems like like look 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 look. There's not that much can art. I, I mean label space t taken up there like i i've seen labels that are just white space i've seen places that don't put the fucking abv on the can sean all right yeah. oh this is 6.4 percent double dry hopped ipa by the way right on the front of the can we can see it yep no big deal Never had anything from Twin Elephant before. Um, Keith also sent their their Black is Beautiful to both of us, so we're going to uh, dive into that at some point as well. But you got to drink those hops quick. That looks gorgeous. It does. It's nice, soft, um, very soft, uh, almost like golden yellow. Yeah. Yeah, mine looks pretty much – yeah, yours looks like it too. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is on the camera there. I got about a finger ahead. It's quickly dissipating. Yeah. I did have two fingers, and I'm down to about three quarters of a finger. Yeah. Uh, I, I imagine this won't be too, um, like, dense and thick. Yeah, I was like, thinking the same thing. looks pretty thin. Um, well, let's go to nose. Let's do it. Ooh, that's Galaxy. Holy shit. Yeah. That smells really good. Yeah, and there's almost a hint of, like, almost spiciness. There's something in there that's, like, like not there's no rye, but it sort of has something that... I wonder if it's like the Saz or the or the Hul Melon. I don't know if the Hul Melon. Damn it, I can't say it properly. I wish you would just I pronounce don't know what it. Is. Would you just pronounce things for me? Um. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Not that though. I'll pronounce your last name for you. So this gives soft, soft, ripe notes of melon and bright berry. Well, I guess that's why it has the word melon in it. But I think Saz is known for spicy spiciness. I could be wrong though. Mm, I could be really wrong. I mean, th th is this has nice amount of uh, a fruit character just in general? Like, cause I am getting berries. Oh yeah, there's a lot of berry. There's and there's some of that like crushed pineapple from the galaxy for sure. And that and that spiciness is just. That's not just me, right? You're, you're getting that. Too? Yeah. Okay. And that's real nice. I I, I like that sort of like that's it, it's not chalky. That's not the word I'm looking for. That's sort of soft. There's something in it. I, I can't quite put my finger on the descriptor, um, but it smells real, real nice. Yeah. So I looked up. Oh, yeah. No. Okay. So for um, aroma, spicy in Saz. Oh, there we go. Fun aroma. fact. Saz is the main hop used in Stella Artois. Oh, fair enough. There we go. <laughs> Anyways, you want to get taste? taste? Cheers. Cheers, sir. Oh, that's interesting. That's not what I expected. No, but that's very nice. Yeah. Um, the mouthfeel is what I expected, though. Yep, I agree. Mm. It's thin, but... And, and, and again, and it's, again it's, it's not a double IPA. It's, it's a double dry hop single IPA. So, yeah, it has a lot of a lot of punch to it. Yeah, um, it has a nice... Um, I don't know if it's quite bitter, but a nice punch at the back. I was you thinking I mean? that, too, yeah. Um, it really nice hop character there. Yeah, it's honestly, it's, it's sort of weird. Like, I'm, I'm having trouble kind of putting my finger on what I'm tasting here. Um, I'm definitely getting 
some uh, some stone fruit type of deal. Yep. Uh, like almost like apricot, but not quite as sweet. Um, I'm definitely getting like almost like grapefruit. Um, I'm getting just a hint, a very small hint of pineapple. Yeah, I was, I was going to say the pineapple, I'm not getting as much on the palate that, as I was on the nose, mm. but the stone fruit makes sense. There's a little bit of almost like like an overripe mango, overripe papaya, like in the mid-palate Maybe. a little bit. Yep, yeah, I, see, I can see that. Yeah. It gives you like this like soft fruit flavor, and then it kind mm-hmm. of bitters off. The bittering, though, I think is... I, I would be interested to know what this beer tastes like, the non-double dry hop version. If, if, if it, mm. I imagine if they put double dry hopped on the can, it means that it's that there's a regular version of it maybe. Because um, you do get it, there's the bitterness, but then there's also a touch, like not like crazy, but like a little bit of hop burn. Interesting. I, I don't think I was quite getting that. Let me see if I can find that there. Like, like it's, at the very end i'm not i'm not getting quite hot burn but what i'm getting is sort of something that might cause me to get like acid reflux maybe that that's but what i'm thinking I, then or yeah that is, it's sort of it's a slight harshness to yes it. it's definitely a harshness that, yeah yeah and, 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 and yeah, i guess yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm um equating it to like hot burn like when i think of, of, of trillium sometimes but other than that, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Other than that, this is a great beer. If if this was something that like I could get around here like easily, this I would definitely pick 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 up a four pack of this. Yeah, I imagine honestly, like mine's not like super cold. I don't keep my beer fridge that cold. I imagine this is ice cold. This would be a great summer beer for me. Yeah, if in because, six one six point four percent, you're not too high of ABV there. Yeah, and I, I feel like when it's um I feel like when it when it's when I first cracked it open. It had like almost a cleanness to it that as uh, it as it warms, it's sort of starting to um, uh, not that it's getting muddier, but it's definitely giving you a little more like a um, little more character. I imagine when it's a little cleaner that I'd be just sucking them down yeah. in the, the backyard, you know? <laughs> yep. Yep. Well, this is yeah, tasty this, though. Yeah, this is definitely a tasty beer. Now I'm now I'm definitely curious to try the uh, Black is Beautiful, but by, by by these guys just see something else that they do. Um, Keith, dude, thank you so much for sending this. This is this th- this was great. Um, down in the comments, if you've had Twin Elephants, I'm seeing robots. They're double dry hopped American IPA with Galaxy, Sa- Sabro, and Whole Melon with Vermont yeast. I wonder if that, unless that like is the yeast is a yeasty burn there that I that I was getting thinking of hop burn. Interesting. I don't know. Mm. Like that, there's something that was sort of like yeah. I guess sort of see bobbing my stomach eventually. You know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, nerdsense.net, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, if those are your things. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and hit those notification bells. And please go check out uh, 93 Lumber. Check out Keith over there. And uh, definitely sus- definitely subscribe to his channel. And uh, I'm Sean. And I'm Mike. And this, this is, is Nerd Sense. Sense. You like did that so like lethargically. <laughs>